Hi, I'm Chris, and this is a fairly generic uh, X99 board, chip, and RAM combo. We're not looking at this specific board, chip, and RAM combo, it's just the one I happen to have on hand. Um, so I wanted to quickly go over why this is an absolutely awesome budget uh, slash uh, special purpose uh, platform to use. So um, let's take a look at some of the rather interesting features that you get with X99. So one of the more interesting features is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 SATA ports are generally standard on most X99. There's a few with less, there's a few with more. A 10 is fairly standard though. That is, if you're planning on doing a server build, like a Plex server, something like that, this is the way to go. It has eight RAM slots. Now, the CPUs themselves are not particularly powerful by today's standards. However, there are some purposes where number of cores and amount of RAM are more important than total performance of said options. Um, so another cool thing with this leading into that is this is a crossover platform. So business grade, uh, server grade chips and consumer grade i7 chips are both made for this. I believe they sold up to, I think 22 core single uh, CPUs for this platform, which were slow as molasses if you're going to game, but for some <clears throat> uh, for some server type applications, um, that's perfect. And then another interesting thing, if you take a look on the back, this is a basic X99, and it's got two full X16 slots, an X8, and two X1s. Now, those X16s could be useful for, uh, well, if you want to do uh, retro SLI testing, it's great for that. I use one of these for one of my SLI testing rigs. Um, and then it's got some modern quality of life issues, for or quality of life features. For example, this right here. Um, it's got a modern uh, M.2 NVMe. And then it also has... USB 3.1. Uh, the only reason why I don't put these in systems anymore is they don't natively support 11. It's too bad. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at X99, and thanks for watching.